Bruce, have you ever played the game Telephone before? Oh yeah, I've played that game before, and it's really fun. I don't think I've played that game before. How do you play? It's easy. One person thinks of something to say, like a sentence or a tongue twister, and they whisper it to the ear of the first person. Then that person whispers it to the next person. The last person in line says it out loud, and it usually ends up being completely different from what the first person said. It sounds simple enough. Let's try it. Okay, I'm going to whisper something to you. Psst, 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 psst. Um, crickets are my favorite thing to eat. What? <laughs> it was actually supposed to be Christmas food is my favorite thing to eat. Why does it always change with the last person? Well, Sheldon, I think that is because there's a difference between hearing and listening. What does that mean? I thought hearing and listening were the same thing. Actually, hearing and listening are different things, and in today's Bible passage, it's from the prophets, and the prophets were people that God sent to tell a special message to his people, and they were always complaining that the people were hearing the words, but they weren't really listening, and that meant that they weren't doing what God said. So God would tell them the message, but they didn't really pay attention to it. So today's big idea is when we listen to God, we hear from him. Can we say that together? When, when we, we listen, listen to God, God we, we hear, hear from, from him. him. I'm going to practice listening to the Bible story. Me too. Hi, Polly, TJ, and Sheldon, and hi to all of you at home watching. Hi, Isaac. Thank you for coming. This month's memory verse is to remind us that Jesus is our Prince of Peace. God wants us to experience that peace in our own lives. Let's learn this together. Repeat after me, please. I will listen. I will, I will listen. listen. To what God the Lord says. To what God, God the Lord says. says. He promises peace. He promises, he promises peace. peace. To his faithful people. To his faithful people. Psalm chapter 85, verse 8. Psalm, Psalm 85, 85, verse 8. 8. Journey kids, work on memorizing this verse. It will help you remember that God is the one who promises us peace. Isaac, what is a cow's favorite holiday? I don't know. What is it? New Year's Day. Uh, <laughs> that's a good one. How about this one? How do sheep wish each other happy holidays? <laughs> Merry Christmas to you. Haha, <laughs> get it? Because it's a female sheep is a you. Good one. <laughs> hey, TJ, what's an elf's favorite sport? Hmm, extreme present wrapping? Nope, north pole vaulting. Oh, where do snowmen keep their money? Um, I don't know, in their wallet? No, in a snowbank. Do you have a funny joke or interesting Bible fact to share? Record yourself sharing them and send it in. You could be on an episode of JKTV. That's a lovely angel there, Pastor Sarah. Oh, thank you, Sheldon. It's a joy working with angels at Christmas. Why do people put an angel on their tree? I mean, it's pretty, but I like putting a star on the top of ours better. 
Well, lots of people enjoy decorating with stars and angels at Christmas time. Um, is there a reason why you keep saying that word? Oh, what word's that? Joy. Oh, I must have joy on my mind because this week in Advent, that's the word that we're focusing on. And maybe you could read a few verses from the Bible, from the book of Luke, to tell you why I'm thinking about that. All right. That night there were shepherds staying in the fields nearby, guarding their flocks of sheep. Suddenly, an angel of the Lord appeared among them, and the radiance of the Lord's glory surrounded them. They were terrified, but the angel reassured them. Don't be afraid, he said. I bring you good news that will bring great joy to all people. The Savior, yes, the Messiah, the Lord, has been born today in Bethlehem, the city of David, and you will recognize him by this sign. You will find a baby wrapped snugly in strips of cloth, lying in a manger. Oh, I see where the joy comes in, and the angels. That's right. And as we remember why Jesus came for us, we can have joy, and we also have joy when we remember that Jesus will one day come again. Joy to the world, the, the Lord, Lord is has come. come. Let earth receive her King. starting our series on Christmas and as we go through this Advent season of preparing our hearts for remembering that Jesus was born it's really neat that we can look back in the Old Testament to the prophecies of uh, Isaiah and other prophets who spoke about Jesus hundreds of years before Jesus was even born so uh, Isaac's going to be reading us some of those prophecies and as you hear it, really listen. What is God saying? What is God telling us about Jesus and about when Jesus will come and about what Jesus will be like? So let's keep our ears open to hear what Jesus wants to say to us. Now I'm going to be reading some uh, verses from the prophet of Isaiah. All right, then the Lord himself will give you the sign. Look, the virgin will conceive a child. She will give birth to a son which will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. This next one is from Isaiah 9, 6 to 7. For a child is born to us, a son is given to us. The government will rest on his shoulder and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, and Prince of Peace. And now I'm going to be reading from Isaiah 40. Comfort, comfort my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem. Tell her that sad days are gone and her sins are pardoned. Yes, the Lord has punished her twice over for all her sins. Listen, it's the voice of someone shouting, Clear the way through the wilderness for the Lord. Make a straight highway through the wasteland for our God. Fill the valleys and level the mountains and hills. Straighten the curves and smooth the rough places. Then the glory of God will be revealed to all people and they will all see it together. The Lord has spoken. O Zion, messenger of good news, shout from the mountaintops. Shout it louder. O Jerusalem, shout and do not be afraid. Tell the towns of Judah, your God is coming. Yes, the sovereign Lord is coming in power. He will rule with a powerful arm. He brings reward with him as he comes. He will feed his flock like a shepherd. He will carry the lambs in his arms, holding them close to his heart. He will gently lead the mother's sheep with their young. Do you remember what today's big idea is? When we listen to God, we hear from him. And what are some things that you heard as you listened to those prophecies by Isaiah? It's amazing that God told them all of that before Jesus was even born. Wow, I didn't even know that God did that. I really like the part that said he was the Prince of Peace. Oh yeah, and that he will rule with fairness and justice. And that his government and peace will never end. I really like the part that talks about God as our shepherd and how he's both strong and gentle and he's carrying the lambs in his arms. 
Maybe we should put some sheep in their Christmas tree as a reminder of that. Yeah, yeah, I like that idea. Why do we always talk about baby Jesus when this is talking about him as a ruler, a grown-up? Yes, when we remember the Christmas story, we remember that Jesus became human, even though he is God. We don't want to just focus on the story of when Jesus was a baby. We want to listen to the whole story. And Sheldon, I'm going to ask you to read a couple of verses in Revelation that talk about why we want to look forward to Jesus coming again. Certainly. This is from Revelation chapter 19. Then I saw heaven opened, and a white horse was standing there. Its rider was named Faithful and True, for he judges fairly and wages a righteous war. On his robe, at his thigh, was written this title, King of all kings and Lord of all lords. Oh, there was something like that in Isaiah's prophecy too, something about being fair and just. It says he will rule with fairness and justice from the throne of his ancestor David for all eternity. Wow, it sounds very exciting. A little more exciting than a baby in a manger. Babies can be pretty noisy and smelly. I can understand that, TJ. And it's important that we remember, even though at the Christmas story Jesus was a baby, that when he comes again, he will be a grown-up. He will come as a conquering king, and that's very exciting. So we want to remember to listen to what God wants to say to us at Christmas time and all year round. Let's have our blessing as we go. May the Lord bless you and protect you. May the Lord smile on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord show you his favor and give you his peace. Bye. 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 The Bible story. Me too. Me three. A little late there. <laughs> hi, Polly, TJ, and Sheldon. And hi to all of you guys for coming. Oh, okay, what is it? Hi, hi to all of you at home. <laughs> this week we're. Uh, this month's my reminds us that. God wants us to experience that peace in our life. Why are you laughing? <laughs> the voice crack. Can we do a whole episode? How about, uh... <laughs> How do you... I know, I know, I'm not. Are we recording right now? North Pole vo- North Pole. <laughs> North Pole vaulting. North Pole? Oh. Well, uh, where do snowmen <laughs> keep their money? Um, I don't know, in their wallet? No, in their snow banks. <laughs> that's pretty funny. I don't know what it huh. means. What prophecies? Thank you. So, do you guys remember today's big idea? When we listen to God, God we hear from, him. hear from Him. Okay, can we try that again? So, do you guys remember right, that's today's? All the puppets, right? What's that? It that's says all, all puppets, puppets yeah, Sheldon. Yeah. That includes you. It's not only us. Wait, all my-